hello today I am going to talk about tuples and range so these are the two topics I am going to talk in this video first one I am going to talk about tuples and after that I am going to move towards this range so let's open this Python file and right here at first let's create a tuple so how to create that let us have a variable which is going to store a tuple value and there are many different ways so first way is that you can provide one two and three so I'm just providing this comma in between these two numbers and let's print this variable so now I am having this tuple so this is a tuple and suppose I am removing these two things and let's check this value still I am having this value so you can write either this or you can write this value at this place so I'm going to get this same thing so this is how you can create some tuple and otherwise let us remove these two and let us check this value so I'm having this tuple and you can have some different approach like you can provide this tuple and this tuple is a class and let's check this value see I'm having this same result and how to know that this is a class or a function so let's only print this tuple so now here it is saying this is a class and if suppose I am providing some alien so let's check whether this is a so you see here this is how you can check whether something is built-in function or some type of class you don't have to provide these brackets you just need to provide its name name of this function or name of the class like tuple so now in this video I'm said that I need to talk about this tuple so this is a class if this is a class this has to this must have some type of methods inside this class so I'm going to use this help to show you all these methods present inside this tuple so this tuple is having all these methods so let's copy this and let's save at some another file so this tuple is having these many methods and this is a class so this is the format so this is how you can provide certain values to this tuple and so there is certain document for this class so this is the document because this is present above this methods defined here so methods defined here so this means that these all are methods and not only that we have this class method and a static method so let's understand about this slash why this slash is present at this place so this means that to understand it better let us open this shell and go to this help and then this doc go to this search otherwise go to this contents and go to this what's new in this python and go to this what's new in 3.8 and here I'm having this syntax for these keywords and you see I'm having this slash so this means that before this slash this a and b must be a positional only parameters and because of that they have provided this type of syntax and when you have this star and after this star this E and F has to be the keywords so they have provided these two things and between this slash and this star these two can be either this type of syntax or this type of positional only parameters and main thing here they what they are saying is this keyword syntax must follow this positional only parameter and so right now I'm just talking about this slash so because of that 
this has to have this positional only parameter syntax like you have to provide direct value not like some variable having this value so let's use that let's create some tuple in this way so let's have the variable again and I'm going to use this class and inside I need to provide some value something like something like this and so this is a iterable so it is saying that we need to provide a iterable so how to know that certain thing is a iterable you can use this for loop for x in here you need to provide iterable and after that you can print this x value and main thing here is you need to provide iterable at this place and if suppose I am providing a number one this is saying that this integer object is not is not iterable and if suppose I am providing certain string like let's check this value and so I'm getting the result this means that this has to be iterable so in the same way right here I have provided this iterable and let's print this tuple and I am having this value so it has separated this string so if you want to separate this string into single elements like this does you can have you can convert this into certain tuple and so this is a iterable and we also have certain iterable like some type of list so let this list have some value like x so I'm going to use this range starting from 0 to 10 so I'm providing plus 1 for 10 so let's check this value so I'm having 0 to 10 so it has converted the to this value and main thing also I, I'm going to talk about this range and if suppose you are providing only this range let's check this value so I'm getting the same result so this is also a iterable so because of that mostly we are using this range for for this for loop and so we have provided this iterable and main thing here is we are providing the direct value not like a equal to something like this and it is saying that this tuple takes no keyword arguments so it is saying that this is a keyword arguments type of syntax and here also it is saying you see this b is a cannot be a keyword argument so this is some invalid calls in the same way right here I have provided some invalid calls for this tuple and let's check this value again so I'm having this thing and so this is a built-in immutable sequence so this is a document for this tuple so there is some shortcut to get this document like let's remove this and let's print this document so this tuple is having this document so I'm getting this same document same as this class does and so methods defined here so all these are the methods and so when you're using any type of help you are going to get these documents and this methods and each methods are going to have their document and if you want to look at the methods only the methods you can use this dir and this dir is going to provide a list of methods present inside this tuple and so I'm having these methods same as this thing does and so these are all the methods and we can use this alien to check the length of this tuple so let's have this variable again and I'm going to print the length of this tuple 
so I'm getting this 11 so let's use this method and so this is going to return a number of occurrence of values and main thing here in all these methods we have this slash at the ending of this argument so we need to provide the positional only parameters so let's use this count and so this count is available inside this tuple if this is a tuple this has to this variable has to have that method and I'm going to print this tuple dot so this function is count so let's count so we need to provide certain number let it be 0 so it is present let us also print this tuple and to check that and you see this is a value and inside this tuple I am having this value for one time so only once this value is present and instead of this let's provide is it possible to provide some number like something like this so this is a syntax error what you can do is you can have two different things like you can use a for loop and you can convert this string into integer so let us have that like integer of this x and I'm going to use a for loop for x in I'm going to make this into string let's check this value so now I am having this value and main thing here is I have three zeros so so it is counting how many values uh, how many times this value is present inside this tuple and there is different syntax like tuple is equal to you can directly provide this 0 0 1 2 and 3 and 0 so let's check so I'm having the same result so this is for this count and coming to this index you need to provide this value at this first place and make sure I am having this slash this means that you need to provide direct positional positional this positional only parameters so let's use this index and you need to provide this starting and stopping and by default they are having this start and this stop and within this range we need to check what is the index of this value so still they are having default let us check for this value so let this 0 present at right here and let's check this value so right now I'm having this 0 at this index and main thing here is this is starting from this index let us start from this 1 so now this 0 is present at this index so this is 0 1 2 and this index is 3 and I am having the value for this index and if suppose I'm going to stop at some value as 3 and so this is saying x not in this tuple so this value is not present inside these three values so main thing here is this is this has to be having until here so I'm checking from I'm checking at this range so this is starting from this one and 
this has to be increment of this value so if this is 3 it is actually stopping at this index 2 and in this starting and stopping I don't have this value so this is saying that this x value is not inside this tupper and to understand it better let's convert this to 4 and now I am having this index so this index is 3 and if I am starting from 3 and let's take this value so I am having this 3 and if suppose I am making this as a 4 again so again it is saying x not in this tupper and to understand it better you know this let us provide some different value 4 you know this 4 is not available inside this tuple and let's check this value so I am having this same error which is saying that this x is not inside this tuple so this is very useful if suppose by default you want to check from certain starting point like 0 this is having default and you can also change this starting point from where you have to start searching this value and you, this is going to return the index for that value and so now let's understand about this class method and and before that let's open this so so right here I'm going to use this help and I'm going to write this tuples and I'm getting this stuffs and right here I'm going to talk about so I'm having this list and so this is how you can create certain list but now I'm going to talk about certain tuples so this is a tuple and here it is saying we have certain ways to construct these tuples and there are many number of ways you can either create this single bracket or you can provide this a comma and or you can have this value and you can also create this tuple by separating items with certain commas and so you're going to get this type of result so this is how you can create certain tuples and and as I said earlier when you are having this tuple and if you are converting this string into certain tuple this is going to return or this is going to separate this big string into smaller elements and for example we have that example here and this has converted to this value see how this is how these small elements are separated from this string and same thing happens so we have some different example like we have certain list so this is actually some type of iterable and so this is for this tuple and coming to this range we have certain syntax like so if you are ha if you are providing only single value inside this range this has to be some type of stopping value like earlier I had provided some syntax like I'm having tuple and right here I have provided a range and I have provided a value 10 or 11 and let's print this tuple so you see uh, this has to be a stopping value so right at this place this 
range is going to stop so I'm not getting this value and main thing here is this is going to start from a value 0 so by default it is starting from this 0 and when you are providing a start so this is the second positional argument and when you are providing a starting place so now so this is inside this range yes right here and so now it is starting from this 1 and it is stopping at this 10. You can also get this document go to the search and write ASCII click enter select this first row and go to this Yeah, I'm having this list so and there has to be tuple and yes I'm having this tuple and so I'm getting the same document as this does so this is for range and this is for tuple and main thing I'm getting the same document and we can convert this range into certain list and we can also convert into certain tuple because you know this tuple is going to take set an iterable and you can place that iterable at here and finally it is going to convert into this tuple and let us do that so at first let us only have this range so what this function is going to return let us check that value so this is going to return the same statement as provided here and Let's convert this into some list and now I'm having this list and you can also convert this into set and tuple and it is converting and main thing here is it is a iterable and let's check its document this range document so this is the document for this range and I'm having this couple of syntax and so it is going to return a produce a sequence of integer from this start and this is inclusive and this top is exclusive by steps and so right here it is saying so this is the sequence of this range like if you are providing certain 0 at this place 0 is starting from here and main thing here is I am having this j minus 1 so because of that we need to increment this value so you know this is going to stop at this 10 so because of that we need to add one number so starts defaults to so it is starting from by default it is going to start from 0 and it is going to stop at certain range so this is some type of example if you are providing this value it is going to produce this thing and that happens because of this type of sequence and also we can provide certain step for this thing and let it be a value 2 and let's print this and let us convert this into tuple so now I'm having this value and so it is going to start from 1 and after 2 steps that is 1 and 2 so 2 steps I'm getting this 3 and after 2 steps that is 3 and 4 I'm getting 5 and it is keep on going and it is going to stop at a value 10 and so that is for this range and you can also provide certain starting of course this is a starting and stopping and 
this is the step so it is taking a step minus 1 so because of that it is starting from 0 and minus 1 minus 2 3 and it is going to stop at this 9 so it is completely going across the negative integers and so that's the example and now let's talk about this class method of this tuple so let's use this and so this is the class method and here you need to provide certain value and they have not provided what value we need to provide and let it be some value like 1 2 3 and 4 let's check this so I'm having this value and it is saying this is get items that means we can I think we can convert this into dictionary so let us convert this into certain dictionary so I'm having this dictionary that is this key so this is the key having this value and let us make this into much more understandable and let us use a for loop for key and value in this dictionary and so this has to be items so let's print this key and value and let us separate with this arrow so this is the key and this is the value and it is separated by this arrow so these are all the keys at this left side and at the right side this has to be values and finally this document is having these all values and so I'm getting some get items from some type of class and they have provided some name class because I think we know that we can convert certain class into dictionary like if suppose I am having a class named C and if suppose this is having some values like let it be otherwise let us have some constructor and which is going to so here we can create as many container as we like for X and for Y let both of them have a value none and let us create a class variable and this is going to have this class thing and let us print this class variable in the form of this dictionary and you see I'm having I can able to convert this class into dictionary and so in the same way right here they have provided a class and so we are actually getting some items so I'm using these items and I have converted this tuple this tuple is actually a class and I have converted that class into certain dictionary and I can get its items so items are these keys and values so I'm printing those values so that is the method for this and this is not having certain document like providing some type of hint like you see I'm having this index which is saying that this is going to return the first index of the value so I think you have understand this range and this tuple and so that's it for today and see you again bye bye